Hello and welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Raza Zaidi. I'm DT Street 5 of Finance and Operation Consultant. So in this video, I'm going to share you about how you configure uh, Advanced Warehouse so you can receive purchase order uh, through the mobile app. So, uh, so first of all, I'm going to share you about location directives, work template, and uh, menus. So at the time of recording, I am using 10.0.32 version of D365 for finance and operations. So, uh, for configuring uh, location directives that are the main part of advanced warehouse. So, you have to go advanced warehouse and then uh, by collapse all in setup, there are location directives. So, uh, from here, I am going on a purchase order and this is po88 is my location directives i just set up that uh, for the quantity 288 to 99 and to bulk and uh, are restricted by unit so if uh, unit is pl then it goes for a bulk location and otherwise it goes to a floor right so this is this is my location directive then i create a work work template so how work can be originated so for work i create a 88 po received this is my uh, name name of my work template and it has pick and put so this is the standard purchase order work order template on menu items so in DCC 5 of finance and operation, there are two ways to, to receive per product. Uh, one is a single step that a single step it will pick and put on a specific location. And second, first it pick, so it will become a two step process. First it pick and then another person put it to a specific location. So how we can control it? This is where, this is we control on mobile app menus. So for mobile app menus, I am going into again uh, advanced warehouse setup then mobile device and mobile menu items so first of all I'm going I'm going on a single step receiving purchase order for this this is 88 PO single step and here I have to set only one property that is Purchase order item receiving and put away, and then generate a license a license order existing work no, right? And if I'm going on a two-step process, that first it picks and then it goes for a put. Then I have a two menus. First is PO receive. It has that purchase order item receiving and license plate enable. <coughs> Mode is work and use existing work is no. Uh, this is the receive menu and then there is a put so how you can put use the existing work and here i put the purchase order so <clears throat> this is the simple configurations rest of the configuration you know about the item so for this we have to go on account procurement and sourcing then all purchase order right and here i'm going to create a new purchase order and vendor account is 101 and i am going to click ok so first so this example i am going to receive item in a single step click on ok i select this item site is 88 and warehouse is 88 and i'm going to purchase 44 quantity each pieces rest of the information i'm not changing anything and now I'm going to confirm this purchase order so I can receive. 
and if I click on purchase and I'm going to confirm it so now I'm going to log in into a mobile app emulator this is provided by a Microsoft it accept the scanning it provide the all possible functionality that is available on a mobile and now I have uh, three menus which I sh pre showed in a previous step PO single step PO receive PO put and change warehouse functionality so with respect to that we can change or a log off so I'm going to select the item on a single step so this is the purchase order which I created in a previous step and in a duplicate tab I am going to search the same item so it will help us to understand what transactions are created uh, behind the scene of a mobile app so I'm going into a transaction if you if we see if a purchase order is 275 so purchase order 275 is ordered okay and now I'm going on a mobile app and enter the PO number so PO number is triple zero two five and I click on OK it asks me which item so I am going to select the item number is W underscore triple one click on OK it again asks me either how much pallets or each i am selecting each and i register 44 i'm going to collect all the items in a single step so i click on ok it, it asks me to confirm and i'm going to confirm it so it give me for confirmation this is the target license plate because I enabled on a menu the license plate and this is the item and it show me the for each and 40 quantity uh, let's see how it will be generate the transactions when I click on ok I confirm it ok it show me the message work is completed so if I go back on a transaction and I am going to refresh it so against it it uh, 257 it creates uh, these transactions so if i am putting the work as a filter let's see what will happen so so the transactions will be created in a single step that it mentioned that stock receive or not receive or stock receive and stock comes on a receive location and then purchase on 88 88 is my username it temporarily replaced on a 88 then it again sold from a 88 to bulk location 03 what quantity 40 quantity is because we, we met in a, in a setup I mentioned that 10 item 10 each item will be equal to one pallet and then from a 88 four quantities goes to a floor 001 so this is the single step uh, pick and put so now I am going to demonstrate another purchase order scenario that we have a two step so I am going again and create a new purchase order and I select the same vendor click on ok and now I select the w underscore and this one and again the site is 88 warehouse is 88 and i put here 30 uh, 33 right and i'm going to save and confirm right now i'm going on item transactions and filter again so if i remove that filter it mentioned that i have one order to uh, 
276 is a purchase order on a order state with a 33 quantity and nothing is received and nothing is, is finalized so i'm going on a mobile app click on a cancel again uh, on a main menu first i receive so i click on a pure receive first i'm going to receive this i copy the 274 and i place the pure number i it asked me about item i copied the item and paste the item click on ok it asked me a quantity palette or each i am again going for a each i set a three three double three so click on ok confirm so it mentioned work order is completed right so it means let's see what will happen so when i refresh it it create a new work order number this is our work order number you can see reference work work order number uh, 668 so what will happen work order is created uh, 668 so if i am going to filter so what will happen uh, work order reserve quantity minus 33 on order 33 and it will be available on a received location so stock is on order 33 and reserve physical minus quantity on a received location if i click clear all so what will happen the purchase order reference is 276 its registered quantity is 33 against that work order is created and reserve physical is minus 33 on a received location and then it is on orders against work order is a 33 uh, sorry to use this work order or use a lesson spread so i am for getting a lesson spread the spread will be created 314 so there are two ways to proceed if i go on a, again on a mobile and go for a put so it asked me either work id or lessons plate id so most of the time we did not remember the work or work number um, we use the lessons plate so i copied the lessons plate and placed on mobile app and click on ok so it asked asked me the same target location 33 each and i'm going to confirm on ok so it mentioned me that there will be a th uh, 30 each goes equal to a pallet and three quantity goes in a floor location again three receive on a floor and work order is completed now if i go on a transaction level i refresh it i found a uh, more transactions against this 66 if i apply batches so it is almost the same so it put the 30 items on a bulk location and three on a floor location so my friends this is a simple video where i share you how you can configure mobile app on advanced warehouse in this simple video i share you how you set up a basic things work uh, location directives and mobile menus to receive purchase order on a mobile app in advanced warehouse thank you for watching see you in another video